So getting started in order status, you'll see that there is actually a function in here to be able to retrieve the orders from your Shopify store. So Streamline allows you to actually access this. So all you need to do is go into send orders. You're going to copy this ID and you're going to go into your agent, just drop it in here into the request URL section. And now you're good to go. So let's go ahead and try this out. So let's see where your order is. And let's just grab a quick order from our store here. Looks like Kimberly made one uh, recently. So Kim, let's grab your email and put it in here. So now it's being able to send this over to Streamline Connect. It's taking a look through our orders and it's able to actually find the most recent order that we placed. So it says 1175 out for delivery of your order. Awesome, super, super cool. Now let's check out uh, another flow, which is the product recommendations flow. And just a quick note is that again, you can do this directly if you wanna use uh, a Shopify function, which we've created here. So this allows you to directly connect to Shopify if you're not using Streamline Connect. You do have to go through and actually set up a Shopify the connection inside Shopify and get an access token, but we'll include a link to a tutorial that walks you through how to do that. But again, if you're using Streamline Connect, it just sets it up really quickly for you. So now the other one is our product recommendations. So this one is more complex and this is really where uh, your agent starts to stand out and can provide really accurate recommendations for people. So we'll walk you through a bit of what's happening here. So the beginning, we're just asking a user if they wanna see personalized recommendations or bestsellers. These bestsellers are manual. So this is a manual carousel. You can go and add your bestsellers in here and it'll be the same thing every time. The personalized recommendation is where we actually start using the knowledge that's in the knowledge base from the products. So if I say, you know, what's the gear that we're looking for, you're gonna to wanna to come in here and obviously customize this. So let's go, what's the voice flow swag? Tell us what voice flow gear you're looking for. When someone asks a question, it goes through this function. Now this function basically looks at the knowledge base and it fetches uh, all of the different product information that we uploaded. And it only looks at information with a specific tag called the product data, which you can do when you actually upload data, but Streamline takes care of that for you. And so when you do this, it returns the three most relevant products to your search. It turns them into a carousel, and then it passes it over to this AI step. Now this AI step is looking at your question that you asked here, user question, and then it's looking at the products that were pulled from the knowledge base. And then it actually creates a recommendation around that. And then finally, this step here, or this button here, this is what actually renders a carousel. So let's quickly look, take a look through it and see what this looks like. What is some good stuff for the winter. Let's see what it pulls out. Awesome. So I can turn off my debug mode here and great. So it was able to go through and actually pull out a couple of items. So it found the three items it passed to this AI step and it actually provided the recommendation. So you're obviously going to want to put your company name here. So I would change waterfowl voice flow and you know, the winter season, blah, 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 crucial. Here's a fleece pullover. Here's a water bottle and here's some cruise socks. Now, obviously, if you have way more products, it'll provide better recommendations. We've only got 10 products in here, but honestly, it did pretty good. And right away, you can see that all of the carousels actually have the image, the price, the title, as well as the description. So that's all being formatted in this function over here in code. And now if I click on this, it's going to open up the actual Shopify page. So super cool. One quick note here is that this carousel step here, this custom action, this is what's actually rendering the custom carousel. So again, if you haven't actually used Voiceful before, I'd recommend you watch the previous tutorial on building a support agent. It'll tell you everything that you need to know about Voiceflow. This is just a quick run through of this template and how to use it. So this step here actually renders the carousel that we generated in the code. So that's what allows the carousel to be dynamic. It's because it's being generated um, in this function whenever we fetch items. So it's different every time. And then this step just renders it. So you can see here in the action body, I've got payload. That's what the function is putting out. Now there's two options here, default and click URL. So default, there's also this option here, stop on action. So if I click stop on action in production, and you won't see this in the actual agent because this custom action step is really a production step. But in production, stop on action would mean that it stops at the carousel and it waits for a user to do something, either type something in or click a button. If the user clicks a button, it'll go down this click path, or if the user types something, it'll jump somewhere else in the agent. Now, if this is off like it is right now, then what would happen is that you would show the carousel and you would immediately move on to the default path, which would just go to this next part. Then if a user clicked a button, it would basically go down this button path. So here it just loops back to the same thing. So this allows you to actually have a bit more granular control 
to say maybe you want the carousel to appear and if a user clicks on a button, you're gonna take them somewhere else and upsell them some products. So this is what allows you to determine what happens after a user clicks one of the buttons on the URL. You can take them down a custom path. So for this purpose, I'm just gonna hook it back up here and then kind of proceed forward. And so that's it for this flow. The other flows are pretty straightforward. So submit a ticket, we go through in depth on our course on building a support agent. So I would check that out. It's the exact same flow here. This is sending it to Zendesk. So you need to put in your Zendesk domain, email and API key. But uh, we have functions for Freshdesk. You can build one for Gorgeous as well. Any support system you're using, Voicel can connect with and actually send a ticket over. The last one is just a rewards program. If you have one, you can keep this in. If not, you can actually just remove this whole flow. And then finally, we've got policies. Um, this is just giving you a bit more, if you have more policies, this is useful. If someone has more detailed questions, they can go into this flow and ask it, but it'll be able to also answer policy questions just right off the bat if they type it at the front, like we did at the beginning. So that's the quick overview of this template. Again, I highly recommend watching our other course on building a support agent in VoiceFlow, which is gonna show you everything around capturing information, buttons, et cetera. And so check that out. Or if you wanna just get started quickly, you can use this template, use Streamline Connect, get all your data in there. Next up, we are gonna go and actually put this in our Shopify store, get it up and running and show you where you need to put it in the code and what happens if you, you know, it's not working and, and modifying some of the CSS. So we're gonna hop into that next, but let us know if this was helpful and you can find this template, I will link it down below.